Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. Hello, and welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey chapter 103 and or 103. I'll have to figure out if I'm going to say it like that. But anyways, it is the last day of the week, a.k.a. the Shotgun Dropkick Workout. I am feeling pretty decent, all right? Pretty, pretty all right. Nothing too crazy. On the way to the gym, the usual gym, so nothing too fancy for today. But still, feeling great. Anyways, today's subject matter. I was going to talk about something today that I mentioned in yesterday's video because it was something that I had to talk about, and that was... I mentioned it yesterday, briefly, in the Star Wars video, in the Embarrassed to be a Star Wars fan video. I briefly mentioned that for some reason, this has been a trend that I've noticed and I can kind of also give some insight on this as well, eventually. But that'll be for the voiceover, but from my own perspective. For what I wanted to say was, I noticed a trend where for some reason, there is like a something where creators end up hating the audience that they cultivate and then they just like like they hate them so much that they end up sabotaging the thing that they created i don't understand why that happens a lot of the time now i don't necessarily think it's a hundred percent always that they hate their fans so they end up tarnishing the reputation of their creation and whatnot but i think that it happens often enough that it's a phenomena that should be talked about I will talk about a few in particular that I am aware of, but I'll, I'll give an example as to like people who get hired for, let's say, Star Wars movies, and they, for some reason, don't like the fan base for some reason. Like, why would you go on to something where you don't like the fan base? What is wrong with you? Why would you accept this? You're a fan of it, but you hate the people that are around it, so you want to change it to more people like you? That makes absolutely zero sense. But that's like one type of, it, of person that does that. There's another type where they get gain massive amounts of popularity and then they just decide, oh yeah, fuck these people particularly because they've supported me and I fucking hate them. One of the big examples I've seen from that in recent memory has been Attack on Titan. I'm not, I've never read it. I plan on reading it eventually, but I have no interest in reading it right now. But that is something where i've heard that the creator basically near the end was just saying fuck this show and fuck these people basically because the way that it ended and was going near the end what the fuck was that so even i don't i don't know what it's about but yet i can tell somebody who's seen attack on titan or reddit if i say the words a pigeon all of a sudden they are like oh oh yeah that you know, and that's insane that I could say a word and then all of a sudden they know instantaneously what I'm talking about, which is insane. Because I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? I don't, I don't know what the context is. But I've heard people say it's like, yeah, that guy fucking hates his uh, audience. I've heard that's being said about that. And there are many such cases as like YouTubers, streamers, which I will get to later, filmmakers, people who write certain shows, like things like that where they just end up becoming like weird, cynical, like former shells of themselves where they start hating the people that they attracted to themselves, which I can get, you know, in a slight way I can get it, which I will discuss later, but in another way, I don't understand it because I'm like, all right, why would you punish those who you attracted, who basically gave you the start that you ha that you could get, and just like cause the entire thing to be shat upon and destroyed near the end? And that's a whole other video about v endings being like the most, some of the most important parts and stories. No matter what, it doesn't matter if the ending sucks, then people will hate it. Case in point, Game of Thrones which I will get into later because that is another popular example of the two writers deciding to say fuck it and just lambasting literally everything that was come before them but that's a whole other discussion but still it is interesting to me that creators end up just having a distaste for the people that they have cultivated as their own you know and it's always surprising to me that it happens a lot it's like in most creative mediums uh, it happens all the time i feel like where they just get where a particular group just ends up 
like getting to the mind of the person that is the creator and infecting it saying these things that in the end the creator is like ah well uh fuck it i'm gonna listen to these people even though the people that the people that are vocal are really just a minority of the of the people slash they aren't really necessarily indicative of their actual audience i think it's just interesting i don't know if there's any examples of this in music per se I don't know because music is a little different, but also I bet there is. I bet somebody can give an example of this in music. I could probably look it up where they made an album just to just to spite their fan base and say, fuck you, this is the actual music I wanted to write or something like that, which I feel like has happened, but I have no idea if I can give any real examples of that. But it is just such a phenomena that I find very interesting and fascinating that happens. I don't understand it and I don't get why. I mean, okay, that's a lie. I do kind of understand it, but I don't get why ruin, why to ruin something where it can have a nice ending and then move on. You know, there are certain creators that ended up ending things and then they moved on. For example, Filthy Frank is a good example of that. He ended his entire YouTube channel with all the stuff. He was a beloved character. He went out on top and then pivoted completely. New audience, took some of those old people, and now he's a, a big music creator. Huge. So, you know, it's like, all right, he pivoted. He, he kind of laid that audience to rest and kind of went like, all right, I'm going this way. Those who want to come with me, come with me. If not, not. There you go. It was probably one of the best examples examples of retiring something, leaving it alone, letting it die out, and then moving on to something new that he wanted to do without alienating all the people that came before him. And he still doesn't alienate the people that uh, supported him back then, which is surprising that people just don't realize that if you just like be nice to people and be like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. It's nothing against you. It's just I want to move on to something different, but I will I will finish it respectfully and, you know, and give it closure like most things want and most people want. I mean, there's a whole video about closure that I could probably make and I probably will that at the end of it when they're not doing that shit, it's like what it's like that's the perfect example of them finishing like that's it you're done you you've accomplished what you needed to accomplish and then you can move on and you can have not only can you have people clamoring for more of what you made but also they understand you're done you're, you've given them closure and people can move on to something new and something different a new experience you know and without shitting on them or being like what is it against so much of what they were you know what i mean and they basically built you up and then you're just like fuck you you know I, I never understood that but we'll get into more details on the inside all right so on this day start off with leg extensions which are really nice i actually really like these even though i've gone up in calories i think i might just keep these instead of hack squats or i might just do like both i don't know i'll have to figure it out but that's a problem for future oscar to figure out right now i want to talk about the main subject matter here which is the when i get i don't even know what i'm gonna title this video but basically just when creators end up hating their audiences and or all that other stuff. I think first I'll start with this because I started talking about it yesterday in the Star Wars video where people for some reason join in on something and then try to change it to make it their own. This is why gatekeeping is an important thing. It's an example of it at least. I'll, I'll talk about gatekeeping in another video because I feel like that's a whole other video and it's subject matter, but you have to make sure that people who enjoy what they're doing and or the content that you're creating are the people that join in and help out. You do not want to get somebody that for some reason wants to put their own spin on things, which is fine if you want to do it, but it has to be understood that it is its own thing. You know what I mean? If it's like, what is it, spin off or whatever the hell it is. If it is the main line, it does not matter. It does not count. I don't want to have these people that come in and want to put their own spin on things because it's been working so far. Why are you going to try to reinvent the wheel? Not only are you going to reinvent the wheel, but you're going to smash the previous wheel and destroy it and say it was garbage. Like it, it's so ridiculous that these people are allowed to continue on to do this. But hey, that is me a popular culture nowadays, but we're not going to talk about that in general. I also wanted to talk about the people, for example, another another example of people who end up hating the audience that they grew were Many people from YouTube that end up getting what is called Trolls Remorse. 
That is something that I've noticed. The biggest example of this, if you know who he is, is iDubs, where he made an entire video series about being a content cop and all this other stuff, but now he hates the audience that he ended up fostering. And now he does completely other content, which is completely garbage. I'll be 100% honest. I don't care for it. I stopped watching him. But the thing is that somebody that is also something that happens because they end up getting remorse for the things that they did in the past. They end up pivoting hard and alienating the entire people that uh, brought them up. And then, you know, the downfall happens relatively quickly. Now, Trolls Remorse is a little different in that I kind of understand it. I kind of don't. I don't really care for it, but it is what it is. That's a whole other subject as well. But that's another example of people that just end up hating their audience for some reason. And instead of ending it or pivoting, they just kind of keep going in a weird empty shell of the person or husk, a husk of the person that they once were. And then just kind of look backwards and spit at the things that built them up, if that makes any sense. Now, I can say this, as somebody who's actually had experience with this slightly, I can kind of understand it from the other side. I ha used to be a streamer. I used to be a Twitch streamer in particular. I, I wouldn't say I was a big streamer. I had like an audience about like anywhere from like seven to 20 people watching me at once, which is surprisingly puts me in a top percentage in Twitch, which is kind of sad, but that's a whole other story. But basically, that amount of people was enough to make me realize that if, if I don't do my gatekeeping well, it's gonna make me hate them. And I did dislike a lot of the people in my community, but there were some people that I did like, so that, that was something. But I understand it in a way where if you don't foster in a nice place or a nice thing that you want to do, then you basically kind of screw yourself and make whatever you're doing then become feel like a completely different thing, which is what I did. That's what happened to me. I ended up hating it because I just didn't like the way I felt after every stream. It was just so, I felt nasty. It was weird. I didn't like it. I, I didn't like the, the self-reflection basically that I had from the audience. But the thing is, and this is the big difference, when it was done for me, I finished. I finished the streaming. I, I did one last stream because there are a lot of people who just stopped. But I did one last stream. I said my goodbyes to everybody and I called it a day. I did that because I wanted to give everybody the closure and say, all right, I'm moving on with my life. Um, you guys should move on with your life. Let's call it, you know? And I always feel like that's something that's missing with a lot of things, that you need to supply a, a good closure with everything, you know, like at least give people a chance to call it. And while thinking about this, I was, I'll was i touch upon this in the car, but there is a quote that basically describes this very well, which is cutting off one's nose to spite its face, which is basically what happens with a lot of shows and or movies and or uh, franchises where they'll end up making the end horrible, which at the end of the day is just gonna make the whole thing worse than it should be because they end up hating the audience or whatever the hell reason it is. And it's very strange that it happens, but that is such a very fitting quote for this because there are people who do that and it should be stopped. So that's why I feel like this quote is very fitting because I feel like at the end of the day, when things are at the end there, people will just cause things, massive, massive repercussions in order to just spite the small minority of people that got to them, you know? And I feel like that's that's not how to do things. And then uh, you end up ruining all of the legacy that you brought to yourself, you know? I'll take this moment to say that this is the pledge that if I ever finish this series, I'll actually giving it, give it an ending. Uh, and not bullshit around and not just drag it into the mud and become a former shell of what it once was because fuck that. And we're back. Welcome to the workout debriefing. Exercises not filmed. None. Exercises skipped. Also none. Got everything in today, which was nice. Very happy about that. I am beat though, but I get to go home and have a snack. So that's very fun. But anyways, so, like I was saying, I'm feeling good. I'm glad I got it all in. This is a very tough week, but a good week nonetheless. So, on the way back home and time to chill out for the weekend. But anyways, back to the main subject matter at hand. I wanted to say this. 
if you for some reason ever become in charge of something that is popular and people like it and or something that you have created in order to you know like a show a, a video a movie whatever the hell a YouTube channel whatever the hell you create make sure that you end it and end it well so then that way you can tell people to move on afterwards and they have closure make sure that you don't shit on the people that got you to where you are just because uh, for some reason they are just a weird reflection of what you've become but we don't talk about that because that's really what is happening and don't give the in to the vocal minority that might be saying stuff that in reality are just annoying peasants that don't actually have a brain so really Realistically, I understand why people might not like certain things like that, certain aspects of things like that, but just be aware of it and end it. Just, just finish it. Finish it and move on. Uh, because then that way, if you finish it and move on, that way people can get closure. You don't have to sit there and deal with the people that don't, that are complaining about whatever the fuck they're complaining about. And you can just move on. And if mo some people will follow you if you, whatever else you wanna do. And you can make it into your own vision. While the other people that were attached to this one thing, there you go, they stay with it. And you just move on, leave it, leave it alone, go somewhere else, do something new. You don't have to hate the creation that you made nor the fans that you've created as well i think it's more of a once you realize that that is it is it is happening don't let that seep into the the art or whatever the hell you're making don't let it seep into that finish what you're doing and then move on that's it just move on like if you know spiritually that you've done there's no point in poisoning the well of the thing that you've created in order to get back at the fans and then all of a sudden at the end of it you're making it so the ending is fucked and or screwy and then people won't remember it as well i there are many cases and points where things end and they end terribly and people don't remember them because of the fact that they ended so poorly Poorly. Be aware of the total package being an actual thing when it comes to legacy. If you end it, even if it's prematurely or going out on top, that's fine. A good example of a show that ended perfectly and even the things after were done well enough to tie in with it was Breaking Bad. Perfect ended, ended perfectly great show the things that came afterwards nice little tie-ins but not necessarily essential but good on their own but that was a perfect package the guy went out on top it was good it was good to go think of it like that episode of seinfeld where george just goes out on top whenever he he lands a joke and it's good he just leaves and i think of it like that if you're good and, and you're like all right i'm starting to not really like this get out doesn't matter the money money is something that will come to you especially if you have the ability to go out on top people will throw money at you to do something new or something different it always happens like that so just be aware of that do not try to keep milking the cow that is there because that's just what soulless corporations like to do until it is done and beaten to death and a shell of its former self just just be aware of that but anyways Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about all of this, particularly if you have any examples of something where some people made something and then ended up hating the audience that they ended up garnering. Oh, in music, I just realized One Hit Wonders end up doing something like that, where they end up getting a bunch of popularity because of this one song, so they end up hating the one song or whatever, which is also understandable, I get that. But still, uh, there is some level of that I feel like is a little different, but maybe for a different subject for a different day. I'm not too into the music, so I can't really say much about that. But with that being said, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts, your opinions, and everything else about any of this, honestly. I'm very curious to hear your opinions on it. I will be back on tomorrow with a new video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video with anybody that may or may not like it. I will see you in the next one. Peace.